Hello, good morning and welcome to our my trucking life. It is a bit of a tester of a Monday morning for us so far after we uh, forgot our wallet and therefore our driver card this morning. So after we'd um, got to the yard we had to go back. So that put us about 25 minutes behind schedule. Which meant we hit a tiny bit more traffic than we'd have liked. We are taking this bit of a monster down to Croydon and um, we've already had to stop on the Archard once for some pesky uh, slings that were um, straying a bit too far away from the load for my liking so we found a nice bit of a deep hard shoulder and pulled in there to sort the issue out with a bit of good old duct tape we're going down to Croydon, we've got a movement order and um, we almost took a wrong turn and um, we've also managed to burn out our earpiece for our hands free on our uh, mobile phones so we're without a hands free, I might have a brief look at the service ones, service station we had a bit of a stressful end to our weekend after a glorious start with our father-in-law-to-be's wedding I was Usher and if you head over to Facebook or Instagram there'll be a few pictures of me in my suit for you to all mooch on something a little more classy but um, yeah a bit of a stressful end to the weekend though after my son had a bit of a tumble and he's perfectly fine he's got a bit of a black eye but we ended up having to rush him up to a &E to get him checked over so he's all perfectly fine so please don't worry he's got a nice black eye to show for it though and um, yes so me and my dear have really been feeling the pinch stressful times and today hasn't made it much easier by forgetting my card and we almost took a wrong turn and we should make it within four and a half hours down to Croydon as long as there isn't too much more traffic onto the M25 now saying there's about five minutes of delays here it's probably in between here and the M4 I should imagine and then there's a little bit more further round we're staying on till junction 7 34 miles and then at the moment we've got to be making it with about 20 minutes to spare according to this so we'll get there after about 4 hours 10 minutes driving cutting it close alright guys our saga is continuing and um, we're going to need to pull over as soon as possible again. Something's happened to the front the front stack of frames. I don't know whether one of the panels has twisted and give way or... Well done William and co, you know. Most people get up to speed and then get on, but not you. You'd rather put your foot down up the inside at the last minute. So yes, we need to pull over as soon as possible when it's convenient and safe. Can't tell what's happened, whether the hooks come off the trailer. But it looks like the uh, one straps come undone. Might have bounced off the trailer. Because once you I don't know if I've explained it, but some of the top panels, they're not wide enough and they're not supported enough. Once you put the strap around it, it bends it. And it looks like it's gave way. So we're just taking it nice and steady. Yeah, it looks a bit wider here, so. Not really. I 
I don't want to pull on this hard shoulder, but it's looking like I might have to shortly. I think I'm going to do it after this next one. We can't risk driving with these not tied down properly. There's a little bit of a gap there, look. If I can get there, I might be able to swing in a tiny bit. Oh, I can see what's gone wrong there, guys. Oh dear! It looks like one of the uh, one of the support timbers has bounced, and some of the frames in the middle of the load have slid down. So they're at an angle, which has obviously slackened off the strap. Oh my goodness! You know. Ever since I lost my, well, forgot my card this morning, I had a f funny feeling today was going to be a bit of an awkward one. And isn't it just turning out to be that way? I had to stop there in emergency. I didn't like to because I was right by the edge of the thing. And as, um, As a way of keeping the straps balanced, I've got one strap over that side, and of course, that was one of the straps that had came loose. You might have seen me in the mirror, actually, risking it for a biscuit. Obviously, it's not the best place to stop, and I only did it in an emergency situation. And when you've got no straps or loose, very loose straps holding the load down, that's more than more than enough reason to use a hard shoulder. Come on now, 26 miles to go, let's just get this place under our belt with nothing else going wrong hopefully. Oh my goodness, what a day to forget this is turning out to be. Fortunately the events are going to make it harder to. We've had to pull over again just as we got off the M25. This time it was a, lot, a little bit safer I should say, where we could fully assess the load and what had happened. And some more of the chocks had gave way basically, once one of them's gone and it starts to Oh dear, it's hard to explain it all guys. I was able to put a few more straps over this time and fully secure it, because I couldn't do it obviously by the side of the M25. So we put two more straps around her and um, we're just taking it steady now for the last four miles. An absolute nightmare day it's turning out to be. Right, we stopped and get it one final check over and everything looks like it's holding true now. Oh dear, 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 dear. Nice to see someone cutting up the truck there. And here he is again, you watch him move across, what a surprise, Addison Lee being well represented there. Right we've found the site, 
just showing you there what we've got. Managed to get here securely, just about having to oh, use the most of our skills. Oh dear, that is one load. I am glad to see the back of guys. Wah wah, we wah. <laughs> Right, let's just quickly call the gods here. <clears throat> oh yes, it's back up to the house factory where we're going to be picking up a load for Barry, South Wales. So um, that is going to be our plan of action. We're probably just going to call it a day once we've picked up our trailer. So I'm going to end the vlog here. We've covered the major aspects of today and oh my goodness it's been one to remember hasn't it um, I'm hoping that I can get the video released to you all I'll have to check with the gods that it's okay to put it up obviously these things happen it wasn't anyone's fault in general it was just could have been a bad bump in the road or anything that's knocked it off the uh, side of the bearer the main thing is that we've used our expertise and got it all there in one piece and no one's got hurt and um, hopefully nothing's damaged too much oh dear I want to thank you all for watching don't forget to tune in to the next one thank you all and welcome to all the new subscribers in the channel can't believe we're at 3100 already we've had a bit of a snowball once we hit 3k welcome don't forget to check out the previous content and I'll see you all next time guys <laughs>